see them everywhere. But how well do you really know the logos of the NHL? Have you picked up on all the secret symbols encoded within their designs? These simple icons often convey complex messages if you know what to look for. We'll investigate logos you think you know and uncover what you may have been missing all this time. Right now, as Aesthetics presents Design Decoded, NHL Logo Secrets Revealed. The first thing I'll say is this video won't be a revelation to everyone. Some of you will be watching and thinking, isn't this stuff obvious? Just keep in mind that it's all about perception, and none of us sees the world in quite the same way. What may be plainly apparent to some could be surprising to others, but I hope you do learn something new along the way. When it comes to clever design, there's really just one hockey logo by which all others are judged. In 1979, when the WHA folded, the New England Whalers shifted to the NHL and wanted to refresh their identity. Because the Boston Bruins already represented New England, the team became the Hartford Whalers and enlisted designer Peter Good to create a new logo. The blue whale tail is obvious, the green W is too. What most people don't notice at first, and what makes the design, is the H for Hartford hiding in the negative space. By the way, here's a fun fact. When the Whalers bought an AHL team in upstate New York in 1980, they renamed them the Binghamton Whalers. And by simply rotating their own logo, the W became a B. As the NHL has expanded in recent years, brand designers at Adidas have been working to create modern classics, logos built to stand the test of time. The Golden Knights helmet is shaped to conceal a V for Vegas. And a shadowy tentacle from the deep hides within the black letter S of the Seattle Kraken logo. And for their secondary mark, an anchor contains an artfully adapted rendering of the city's most iconic landmark, the Space Needle. Both teams have earned positive feedback for clever use of negative space. It's become the gold standard for many designers. While some teams aim for subtlety, others simply spell it out for us. Historic franchises like the New York Rangers and Toronto Maple Leafs leave no doubts in the design of their logos. Same goes for the Washington Capitals and New York Islanders. But even then, these marks still have their secrets. The Leafs logo contains layers of hidden symbolism, like the 13 veins across the top, commemorating the team's 13 Stanley Cup wins. And there's always room for more. The Capitals logo is a modern reimagining of the team's original mark. And the three red stars are a nod to the flag of DC, representing Maryland, Virginia, and the district. The Islanders logo bears a rendering of Long Island itself, right across the middle. And the four stripes around the hockey stick commemorate a Stanley Cup dynasty. The text inside the Florida Panthers crest varies depending on the context. It reads Florida on their road jersey and Panthers on the home reds. And then there's the Buffalo Sabres. They don't spell anything out in words, but rather a pretty basic pictogram. A buffalo above, crossed sabers below. For many teams, a simple initial with some embellishments gets the job done. The classic example is the Montreal Canadiens and the timeless and bilingual CH. C for Canadians and H for habitant in French. The C is a popular letter form among Canadian hockey clubs. When the Atlanta Flames moved to Calgary in 1980, they kept the name and replaced the flaming A with the flaming C. And when the Vancouver Canucks rebranded in 1997, the orca bursting from the icy depths formed a C, but some say there was a C even in the team's original logo from 1970, made more obvious by the modern versions in 2007 and 2019. South of the border, in Boston, the spoked B is an American classic. It's taken on some different forms over the years, but the concept has always been a constant. It's the same story in Philadelphia, 
where the Flyers' P has gone virtually untouched since its 1967 debut. In Colorado, the mountain from which an avalanche falls doubles as the letter A, and a secondary logo introduced in 2015 captures the letter C from the Colorado state flag. The webbed footprint of a duck takes the form of a D in Anaheim, and in Dallas, a big D forms the center of a beveled star. Some teams hide their letter forms better than others. The New Jersey Devils are experts here with a subtle NJ ligature. It was a bit more obvious in this unused prototype logo. And there's one logo that hides letters that may not even be letters at all. Call it seeing what you want to see. But I think the black fins of the San Jose Sharks logo form a rather vague SJ. Do you see it, or is it just me? What about the regional symbols that have shaped team branding? Ever notice the four black triangles on the snout of the Arizona Coyote? They're a carryover from the team's Kachina logo, representing four peaks, a prominent landmark east of Phoenix. The Coyote's secondary logos also contain a few secrets. In this one, an A is formed in the negative space of a paw print. The other combines three elements, the shape of Arizona, the state's flag, and its postal abbreviation. Speaking of state flags, the stars and stripes wrapped around the Blue Jackets logo is the Ohio flag, and it curls into the letter C for Columbus. The Nashville Predators' secondary logo is a guitar pick, meant to symbolize the city's biggest industry, country music. And the three-star design within comes from the flag of Tennessee. And the patch on the sleeves of the Panthers' jerseys include a simplified version of Florida's state flag. The most understated use of state symbolism can be found on the Carolina Hurricanes' third jersey. The gap between the windblown storm flags cleverly forms the shape of North Carolina, while a subdued version of the state's flag adorns the left shoulder. Ever wonder about the origin of the triangle in the Penguins logo? It's a reference to downtown Pittsburgh, a city situated where the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers meet. This unique location has long been nicknamed the Golden Triangle. Some logos are so much more than first meets the eye. Take the Minnesota wild and its wilderness scene. Most people see a landscape initially, a forest under the full moon with a shooting star and a stream flowing into the distance. But every element is carefully positioned within the silhouette of a bear's head. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Another is the Capitals secondary logo, a bald eagle with wings that form a W for Washington, and the profile of the U.S. Capitol Dome at its base. This logo was designed to merge prominent features from the team's previous branding, the Eagle and Capitol Dome. Remember the Atlanta Thrashers? Not only was their secondary mark in the shape of a T, it also hit a pair of hockey sticks in the bird's wings. What else is out there hiding in plain sight? What are your favorite secrets of NHL team logo designs? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Aesthetics channel for more. That's all for now. See you next time.